Hello and welcome to ICM TV. I'm joined by Indoor Pets. How are Hello. you guys doing? Oh. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Welcome to uh, One Ten Above Festival. Is this the first time you've been here? It's nope. the third time. Third. third time. Is it third? Yeah. We yeah. played when it was like this a couple of years back, and then when it was just in a, a random field. It was in a big field the yeah. first that year. Field over there. In that field over there. Where are our backstages? So you've, you're playing on the community stage, the main stage. What's uh, what's in store for us? Oh, we're going to be playing old songs, new songs, album songs, EP songs, all combined. S songs. All yeah, the songs. mostly ours. All ours. All ours, yeah. Mostly well. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. uh, I suppose the congratulations is in order since we last saw you or spoke to you about the album. Oh, thank you very yeah, much. We've been following you since the beginning. Um, the good old I guess days. it's fair to say it's not been an easy road. It's been a long road. Guys. Yeah, long. Um, Look at our turns. wrinkles we're now. Old, we're old men yeah, now. We're all haggard. It must be a, a big release, a relief to, to get it out. A re relief and release. <laughs> yeah. well, we evacuated all of our bowels. Oh, didn't God. We? <laughs> no, it was, yeah, it, it was, it's one Cured of those my things. my IBS, actually. <laughs> it was, um, yeah. Have you seen me poop? I mean, not personally, no. I feel like we're derailing this a little bit. Sorry, done it again. Talk about the album. Yeah. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you, you touched on um, the struggles of being a musician and having a full-time job. Is, is it fair to say that you, you, you coped quite well? You've been doing it for five years now. Yeah. Matter, so. Well, again, just yeah, look at true. all of our wrinkles. <laughs> we don't sleep anymore. Coped quite well is a strong That's phrase. It. No, well, we're I mean, we're used to it now. We're used to weekends being banned, squeezing in every kind of moment that we can, and then just working in the gaps to kind of pay the bills. But you never know. Album two, platinum. Maybe that will go platinum, yeah. Maybe it will go platinum. Maybe album one will go platinum. Let's not rule it out. It could it's do, on the way. Could have a big posthumous. Yeah. Could exponentially grow. Post Classic. Posthumous means we die, doesn't it? No. Let's not die. I'm, I'm, about yeah. about that. I'm not against it. <laughs> And uh, it's been two years since you, you changed your name from getting into indoor pets. Mm. Um, do you reckon people are now climatised to the change? Yeah, I feel like there's probably the odd gentleman in from a random festival that hasn't realised we've changed and is still kind of on the lookout for getting you at shows. But Whatever I think everyone that, else yeah. kind of knows now. Um, yeah, it's not really a thing anymore, is it? No. It's quite nice. Everyone it was. People have stopped shouting at us, which yeah. is nice. I think everyone's got used to it. I forgot that we were called that the other day. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, that was a thing. That was a and thing. What was the big issue about <coughs> it? It was to do with uh, another... Yes. Yeah, so, so um, uh, I mean, it's, it's, a, a it's a whole lot of nothing, really. But there was just um, a few people on social media that had a lot of influence that were very publicly against us using the term Inuit but us not being Inuit and although at the time we, we were very much defending the case that we, we were never pretending to be Inuit and that would obviously don't mean absolutely any disrespect whatsoever it's all to do with just the pun of get Inuit get into it but after kind of listening for a lot there was a lot of unreasonable people, but there was actually a lot of reasonable people as well just explaining to us about if you go on Google and type in Inuit music, it comes up with us, it doesn't come up with their culture and stuff yeah. like that. And then we realised, oh, this means so much more to other people than it does to us, and it's just a stupid name. Yeah. Let's just change it. Easy. Job also, done. Also, the old name was yeah. difficult to tell people. Can't even spell it, could people we? People didn't know what we were <laughs> saying. <laughs> yeah. What made you choose Indoor Pet Set? So oh, it was like the thousandth name. Yeah, I think we had first a first name. <laughs> I, I think I deleted that list now, but we had at least 500 on it. Yeah. We were trying to go for similar kind of like syllables and ending on a t noise. Oh, it was so much thought went into it, <laughs> to be fair, for what is I think one day in the van name. you just said, what about indoor pets? And no one said no. One no one said no. Well, said that no. must be it then. everything else had had a no. <laughs> we were very tired at that point <laughs> of names. It's the time to strike with ideas. You've yeah. got a, a tour coming up after the festival, obviously, for a few dates. And then is there any more plans to, to do anything else after? There's there's this stuff season? in the pipeline. I, I can't. We can't go into too much detail because nothing's been confirmed, but... We're currently 
in the studio at the moment, which is quite exciting because with such a long process of recording the album, it's quite nice to actually just be writing again as a band with a, like an aim to release something because it was just such a long build up for the album for us. So it's quite nice being in the studio again. Not, I can't say when that will come out or if it will come out, but hopefully. <laughs> have you, have you gone into like the mechanics of it, like how it will sound or? Yeah, yeah, we've really kind really of finished. destructured or uh, deconstructed what we um, what we sound like before and what we want to improve on, what what what, what our influences are. Yeah, it feels very fresh, actually, very good. You're allowed to tell us sort of what. So where you've gone? We, well, what we're trying to do, whether or not we do or not, you know. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? But what we're trying to do <laughs> is, uh, do you know, Rob? I don't know. No, I don't know where you're going with this. Is this this? I'd like to know where yeah. you're going. Just we're, some more of that. We're, we're trying to make it uh, much more re- resemblant of our um, uh, live show, which is a very kind of loud, visceral, jumping around yeah. chaos. Which, uh, yeah, we're trying to get on record, which is quite hard to do a lot of the time, especially when you have the opportunity to get everything perfect. It's quite hard to decide, actually, things don't have to be perfect, and that's what makes them quite good. So it's very loud, it's very heavy, and it's very... it's it's good. <laughs> it's very good. And very good. finally, we've been asking all the bands we've been speaking to this, um, if you could stay after your set, um, who would you be watching in the crowd? Is there any particular favourites? Well, we just were just watching Lauren Hibbard now, and she was actually really good, wasn't she? I, I don't know why I sounded surprised. That that, that sounded like well, me. Well, because we met her on a ferry, yeah. and I'd, I'd never seen her play. You mean on a ferry can't be good. <laughs> yeah, she, was, she was great, and, no, she was and really good. we loved her, her, her banter as well. She was a good Yeah, she's good very band. funny. Very funny, very down to earth. <laughs> uh, obviously, Power Waves. We've seen how to look at their gear. They've got a lot of gear, haven't they? They've got a lot of Which shiny gear. They've got lots of good shiny equipment. little section now at the yeah. front of the sound desk. So. Yeah. I like that. Big gear, big Eight show. <laughs> big <laughs> show. songs. Yep. Uh, ten tons is on after us. Ten tons. He's good. Brother of Paul Chester. Yeah. Brother there of Paul go. Chester, yeah. <laughs> no, he's a great guy. Uh, Marzikans have already played. That we always give them a ago, shout out it? because... Yeah. They got nice they hair. Got them. They're nice. They have to lovely us. hairs. Yeah. One of them has very curly hair. Very nice. I think only the poets are on next, and they left their IEM rack at the festival. We were yeah, they left the big big box, and we brought yeah. it. We, we brought their box. So really nice. nice. If it wasn't for us, That's they wouldn't nice. even be playing. So if they blow up, we're getting a support slot. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> right, lovely. Thanks very much for chatting, guys. No so worries. I'll let you get ready for your set. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. Bye bye.